Hello, happy Friday. What's up guys? This is Sherry Elise, the co-founder of thewellnessuniverse.com and the founder of Sharing with Sherry. How are you guys feeling? There's nobody here right now, so there's nobody to answer me, but I'm hoping when you come on, oh, we've got a little kitty here that's trying to play with us. Welcome to Friday, guys. Today I am chatting with you about forgiveness. Happy welcome, happy welcome, happy Friday, happy welcome. Curious for you guys when, how hard you are on yourself. How friggin' hard are you on yourself for decisions that you've made? How hard are you on yourself for doing things that perhaps weren't for the best outcome? Welcome to Friday. Let me know who is here. It's always a pleasure to be here with you guys, and I'm in a good mood. I know that's weird for you guys because a lot of you think that I'm always in a good mood, and generally, I just have a joyful nature because I'm aware. <laughs> hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. You want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi? This is beautiful Piper, and she wants to be on camera today. <laughs> okay, we don't need, like... The booty. Hi, sorry guys, X-rated. <laughs> hey, baby girl. Okay, sorry, I don't want to be annoying with the kitty, but I mean, gosh, she's so darn cute. Anyway, let me know who's here. Happy Friday. Um, but generally, yes, I have like this joy-filled nature, not because things always go right, but because I always know that I'm going to be okay. So when people ask me like, how are you so happy all the time? Like, do you not have any problems? I'm like, no, I have challenges all the time. But I'm always choosing and believing that they always work out for me and in my best interest. She is like totally headbutting me right now. <laughs> Hi, Anish. I know, she's so cute. Her name is Piper. Um, so my question and my thoughts for you guys are really today, one of the hardest things that any of us ever do is learning to forgive ourselves, is saying, why did I make that decision? Or why didn't I make that decision? Why didn't I do that? And then dealing with the consequences that then come from beating yourself up over it. And I was thinking about how, you know, when you go on a road trip and, you know, you kind of don't and you've never been there before, you don't know what's coming around the bend. You don't know what is going to happen, you know, the next city from now or the next street from now and what you're going to see. And so I often think about the choices that I've made and how I've made those choices from a place of only having limited sight, of only having limited information, of only knowing so much. And so a lot of the choices that you and I make are made from this space of only knowing so much. And so we often are doing the best we can with the information that we've been given, with the experiences that we've had. And then we get mad at ourselves because you know, we ran out of gas and we didn't know that there was a gas station right around the corner. If we had just made that other turn, if we had just made that other turn, we could have found it. And so what I'm asking and thinking that might help you is to be more forgiving of yourself, to know that, you know, it's not like you want to have the worst life. It's not like you want to make some of these decisions, but sometimes the ways that we're raised or the experiences that we've had have taught us certain ways of being. And the amazing thing about life is that we get to unlearn. We get to make new choices from moment to moment. We get to decide if we want to go down this path or that one over there. You don't always have to journey down the same road. You get to make decisions that are different for yourself. If that particular road is bumpy and lumpy and filled with obstacles and challenges and doesn't feel good or surrounded by things you don't like seeing or feeling, you get to choose a different road. And so when you feel that you are stuck in those moments and you feel like you're beating yourself up and you feel that this isn't going the way that you want, number one, forgive yourself. And how do you do that? You freaking just let yourself off the hook. You remember that you are someone that deserves love and your care and your nurturing the same way as I always say that you would with someone that else that you love. You would be more forgiving of them. You would tell them to pick their head up. You would tell them that it's going to be okay. And perhaps you need to do those same things with yourself. 
I mean, shoot, I got pep talks with myself in the mirror all the time. Come on, Sherry, you can do this. Come on, Sherry, you got this. Come on, Sherry. And it sounds ridiculously silly, but it works and you're worth it. So you keep trekking down that road, but you trek down that road consciously and you choose to make the next step one that feels good. And if you aren't always aware of what choices and decisions to make, guess what? You get to stop and think, does this feel good? Does this feel good? And if it doesn't, get out of that lane, you know, go over there. You have crossroads in life all the time. So that's the message for today. It's about forgiving yourself for not knowing what you didn't know, for not knowing there was that gas station on the next road if you just would have turned and knowing that life doesn't always show up as we want it to, but it always shows up the way we need it to. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, and always, always remember that it's going to be okay. Just make sure that you do whatever it takes to choose things that will help you along your journey. Bye, guys. I will talk to you all next week. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, go over and sign up for the wellnessuniverse.com. It is my brand new platform, and if you're looking for motivation and inspiration and encouragement and guidance, it is a new platform that I've created, and it's all about positivity. Sign up. It's free. Create your own profile, and then go and look around at all of the goodness that is out there, and make sure that you sign in every day so you can comment and you can leave you know, you could follow people and do all that great stuff. So thewellnessuniverse.com. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful weekend.